What's good, Team G fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with Comedy Hour, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Listen, man, on tonight's playlist. So that's what we got, bro. We got the playlist set up, all right? We got some uh, Sebastian making his way back to the channel. Maniscalco. I apologize. He know he know by now that I screwed the name up, bro. He know. But uh, he still give much love and, and support. Um, <laughs> we got some Christopher Titus making his way to the channel tonight, man. And another comedian, her name is Liza. And I'm not even going to attempt to butcher her last name. But uh, she's coming to the channel tonight as well. I'm not sure. Did we react to her before? I don't know, man. You know my archive is crazy of videos, bro. So we're going to get into this, man. If you are new to the channel, take a second. Hit the subscribe button along with the bell next to it, man. Everybody be like, Where's, how do I get the notifications? It's a bell next to the subscribe button, bro. Hit that and you good. Make sure you put it on all. You know, they got like several different selections. Make sure you put it on all. All right. And uh, kick back, relax, man, enjoy yourself, have some laughs, forget about what's going on in the world for just this brief moment, all right? Let's have some fun. Here we go. The world doesn't match my upbringing, okay? I'm here to tell you that. I grew up with an immigrant family. My father's Sicilian, my mother's Italian. I gotta, I gotta clarify that, all right? Half Sicilian, half Italian. But if you talk to my father, you're Sicilian, you're Sicilian. Okay, then, relax. <laughs> they instilled work ethic into me at a young age. Young, if you come from immigrants, they don't play around with the work, okay? I've been working since I've been eight. Eight years old, these people put me to work. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I was watching cartoons on a Saturday. My, my father walked in the living room. He's like, hey, go start a business. <laughs> man because it's all about his this delivery bro like how he does this whole scene right young if you come from immigrants they don't play around with the work okay you know working since i've been eight eight years old these people put me to work <laughs> i don't know what was going on i was watching cartoons on a saturday my, my father walked in the living room he's like hey go start a business <laughs> anything I come from middle-class upbringing they never bought us a damn thing they told us who had what we wanted in the neighborhood <laughs> my dad can we get a dog dog yeah two ounces now I got a dog. <laughs> you want to pet an animal you walk two houses down you pet their dog and then you come back here and cut my lawn. What? <laughs> what lawn? Why? The, what does the lawn have to do with a puppy? What are you talking about? <laughs> there was no napping growing up. Once you, once you were up, you were up. Okay? <laughs> Not like today where the kids are, I'm gonna go take a nap! <laughs> the mother's like, that's okay, Justin. Go take a nap. <laughs> You've been up for two hours now. You're probably exhausted. <laughs> so go upstairs, lay down, refresh, and come back down when you're good and ready to operate your day. <laughs> Not my family, okay? Father been living up my ass my entire life. <laughs> Constantly on me, questioning me. I was an altar boy. He questioned that, right? He's like, do they pay you for this shit at the church? You making any scratch? I had asked the priest for a raise. I said, listen, we know what's going on here. You're collecting a lot of cash during the mass, and nobody's getting a cut. We need something, okay? We don't pay for mass. We pay for funerals. I said, then put me on the funeral circuit. I'll start working funerals, okay? <laughs> That's what I was doing. Working three, four funerals a week. 
during my lunch hour, during my lunch hour, I would have to wolf down my lunch, which was impossible to do because I had the Italian lunch, okay? My lunch had to be refrigerated in the teacher's lounge, all right? <laughs> or it would spoil. I had to fill out a special form that the school wasn't responsible if the veal piccata spoiled in the refrigerator. Right? I had real silverware. <laughs> Nobody wanted to trade at lunch. Everybody had like American, you know, ho-ho, Twinkies. I, I said, anybody want some S cookies? I got S cookies. <laughs> Stella Dora. Nobody wants this. And my mother would say, make sure you dip those in coffee. Coffee? <laughs> Ma, they don't serve coffee in the lunchroom. I'm in third grade. <laughs> oh, I'll pack you some coffee then. <laughs> yo, 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 he has easily became one of my favorite comedians, bro. It's just like everything, the, the jokes plus the antics, man. Nobody could do it like he do it, bro. Let's try some Christopher Titus, though. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk about the word retard, because a lot of people get pissed, especially here in California. Oh, my God, you can't say retard. No, I can't say retard. In my life, whenever I've used the word retard, never once have I thought of someone with MS or CP or Downs or autism or has got legs going out the back of their shoulders because one of their chromosomes forgot to tell a DNA strand it was going on vacation. <laughs> That is just disabled. And as a matter of fact, if I ever saw someone calling someone like that retarded, they would have to deal with me physically. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but every man in this room has a buddy <laughs> who, after a stiff beer, will hang out a car window. <laughs> Queers! <laughs> that guy's a retard. <laughs> Sorry. It's all about context, baby. It's all about context. Every woman in here has a girlfriend who at one point showed up at your house. <gasps> oh my god, we got in a fight and he pushed me. He pushed you, you're never gonna see him again. I'm never gonna see him again! Two weeks later, not only is she seeing that dude again, she's moved in and agreed to marry him. <laughs> Retard. <laughs> Rihanna Tard. <laughs> <laughs> Retard, what does it mean? It means you were born a certain way. You were born a certain level, but you didn't live up to that. You were behind where you should have been. You were retarded, right? But let's talk about this. That guy in the Olympics with the blades for legs? Let me ask you something. Any of you guys make the Olympics? <laughs> I see people, paraplegics, going to law school, getting these law degrees, taking down these billion-dollar companies in civil suits. I'm sorry. Kids with downs have access to the level of love that we can't even imagine. I'm sorry. That's not retarded. That's advanced. <laughs> right. But if you have everything working perfectly, you have all your facilities about you, but you end up addicted to crystal meth and living under a bridge, oh, yeah. you're fucking retarded. friend of mine, I got a buddy of mine, got cerebral palsy, a guy named Michael Larone, very funny comedian, man, but he's neuraled up, man, he's like this, and his brain is fine, but he's like this. And let me tell you something about hanging out with disabled people. They use that shit against us. <laughs> when Mike walks on stage, it takes him forever. It's, 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 this is how he gets on stage. <laughs> See how creeped out you already are right now? 
gets to the microphone, this is how he starts to show. I just want everyone to know that this happened since I got here. <laughs> Don't eat the nachos. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Very smart, too. So one day we did our show, we're back east, we did shows on Saturday night, Sunday morning we go to breakfast. At breakfast he brings his buddy Tony, I got my buddy Tommy with me, waitress comes over, asks Tony what wants, tells her, asks me, I tell her, asks Tommy, tells her. The waitress turns the mic, <laughs> looks back at me and goes, what will he have? <laughs> and I look at Mike because I know something's going to break off. <laughs> And I look at him, I see Satan flash across his face. And my first thought was, you don't deserve better parking because you're an evil prick. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, man. I didn't know where this was going, bro. I was kind of like dipping and dodging like, hey, where, where y'all taking me right now? I was a little nervous. <laughs> What I thought, what I thought was gonna happen, I thought Mike was gonna get indignant. I could handle myself. Instead, Mike goes the other way, turns the level of disability up 3,000%. <laughs> and goes, I would like to order boobies, you will be fine, thank you. <laughs> he goes off, the waitress goes, can you turn him off? No, maybe you can flip his switch. <laughs> For the next hour and a half, Mike destroyed this woman's psyche. <laughs> Man, if she put a glass of water down, bam! <laughs> uh oh! Oh, that was a tsunami! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> she, she must have brought us like 30 forks. <laughs> I, I, I dropped another pokey thing, I'm sorry! <laughs> I, I need another pokey thing for my chicken fingers. <laughs> How many fingers do a chicken have? <laughs> now, I'm his friend. I didn't laugh once, and it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> End of the meal, she comes over with the check, and she's got the check, and she's just shaking. The check's vibrating in her hand. And she's probably working in a toll booth right now. <laughs> and she goes, I'm so sorry. Mike goes, don't be sorry, you're my favorite waitress. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So we walk outside, and I can't take it anymore. I lose it. I hit the grass. I'm like, dude, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Mike, dead serious. That bitch deserved it. <laughs> That, my friend, is a retard. <laughs> so, are we clear where I stand on the word now? Good. Yo, that, that was different, bro. Like I said, y'all had me. I think y'all gave me that one just to see me kind of cringe a little bit, to see the buildup in me. Y'all got me good on that one. I can't even lie, bro. I cannot even lie. Y'all got me. Thank you! Wow, okay. Y'all got me. I'm still thinking about it. Y'all got me. Sorry, though. Thank you. Thank you. One in the balcony. Nice. You guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I am so hungover. <laughs> you do not mess around. You do not mess around here in French Canada. So I was thinking about it and I've been a comedian for about 10 years and in my 20s I talked a lot about drinking because that's what you do. You have a crap job and you drink and you eat garbage at your desk. And then in my 30s I started to become more of an adult and once in a while things get out of hand when you're drunk. But what scares me about drinking as I get older is this. In my group of friends, I am the alpha, obviously. Look what I do for a living. But in general, <laughs> I am the one, I call the Uber, I print the Groupon. I'm the one galvanizing everyone. So what worries me, if I do something dumb when I'm drunk, what hope do the sheep who I lead have? <laughs> we were out the other night and we were hammered. And by the other night, I mean last night, we were hammered. <laughs> like the kind of drunk where you can't even read. Okay, and then you realize it's because you're in Chinatown. <laughs> Thank you. 
actually, you know you're messed up when you're in Chinatown and you can read. Oh, ancient secrets not so hidden. So we're walking through there and we walk into a bar. I'm reticent to say that it was a club because I'm 33, but there was a dance floor and a DJ and I had on like a little bit of body glitter. I Right about now, you're probably wondering, Eliza, why are you wearing body glitter? I will tell you, just for last, because my date was late to pick me up. Gentlemen, you must know something. Every single woman in this room has a list of things that she does to get ready. No matter how much makeup she wears or how little, we have a checklist, whether it's brushing your teeth, filing down a horn, polishing a hoof, putting on blush, we all have a thing that we do. Every woman has a list of things she does to get ready. And when she's done with that list, there is a, an apex, nay, a pinnacle of attractiveness that every woman is capable of reaching. There's a point where we're not getting any hotter. And every minute that you're late to pick us up is one more minute we spend messing with our makeup and we start to get uglier, okay? <laughs> One time, my date was an hour late, I grew a tail. Like, it gets worse. <laughs> this guy walked in, it was only 30 minutes, thank God, I'm on the ground, there's caboodle shrapnel everywhere. I've got half a wet and wild lip gloss. I'm like, stay back, I'm a pretty girl. Like, it gets worse. <laughs> because what happens is we have all this time, so we start messing with more. The more time you have to get ready, the worse it can be. The best advice I can give as a woman, not the best, but for the purpose of this set, the best piece of advice I can give if you're putting on your makeup, give yourself one hour. One hour for the makeup. Hair is like another story. Give yourself one hour for the makeup. Set a timer, girls. And when that timer goes off, chefs, put your knives down, step away from your plates. You be done. You be done, okay? Because we think we can add things. That's what happened with that body glitter. I found that body glitter. Which in hindsight, wasn't even body glitter. It was straight up craft glitter. <laughs> And as an adult, I was like, that needs to go on my face, right? And I convinced myself I could make it look good. I convinced myself I could do a classy amount of body glitter. <laughs> but do you ever think that? Do you ever think to yourself that because you're not trashy, you can pull off doing something that's trashy? You're like, I can wear fingerless gloves. I went to McGill. Like, it's okay for some reason. body glitter balcony I found it and I was like I'll just do a little bit I'll just do a little bit I'll just do a winter frost not a term not a makeup term am I Elsa is it frozen what's a winter frost just let it go just do a little bit more maybe I'll just highlight my orbital rim yes that way when we're dancing the light will hit it and it'll be like bing anime ah! just keep going five more minutes later maybe I'll just highlight my jawbone so he knows I come from good chewing stock just keep Going five more minutes later, sparkle fish. So now I look like a goddamn road flare and we're in public. So we walk into this bar and one of the difficult parts about being a woman, besides everything, is that we're constantly battling time. In the long run, we're worried about weight gain, wrinkles, society rejecting us as a whole. But minute to minute, we are messing with and fixing everything. We are fixing our clothes and our hair and our makeup and our thongs and our bras and our mustaches. Braid it, beat it, set it. Because <laughs> if one thing is off, then the night is ruined, Scott. Like it has to be perfect. One time I left my house without mascara on, I did a U-turn on a four-lane highway. Like, no! They will see the whites of my eyes. And gentlemen, I certainly don't want to leave you out. If you think it's exhausting to hear about that madness, try living in this head, man, okay? We are tired all the time. Fun scientific fact about women that I made up on the way here. Women get four minutes out of every 24-hour cycle where our brain tells us to stop messing with everything. We get four minutes of rest. Four minutes where we stop messing with our hair, I saw you, messing with our jackets and everything. Four minutes of a mental ceasefire. We get four minutes a night where our brain finally sends a message like, homeostasis achieved. You're like, oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, good night, Montreal. Hi. Uh... All right, y'all ain't gonna hit on every one of them, but you know what I mean? Y'all got two out of the three, I'll give y'all. Two out of the three.
she was, you know, maybe that wasn't her best set. But the other two, fire, funny, definitely. Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned, man. It's your boy L. I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.